So yesterday I gave a hand at my local library's makerspace and we were working on brush bots, which were these guys here. And these are ones that I did a couple of months ago. Um, and basically what we did was we took the kit from Maker Shed and it comes with a, a bag of batteries, which are the yellow thing, and a bag of these little vibrator motors, little pager motors. This is the thing that makes your cell phone vibrate when um, you're in the theater. And uh, so basically what you do is you put a wire from the pager motor onto the battery and the other wire onto the other end of the battery, and then you have a complete circuit which is doing its magic like that. And then what happens is the vibration of the motor causes the thing to move around, which is definitely one of the easiest moving vehicles that you can make. Very simple circuit. And when I did this, what, what we did was we did it on a whiteboard and we set it up so that um, I actually drew out the circuit diagram on the whiteboard, and then um, and then they they were, you know, as they were building it, they were looking down into the the image of the um, schematic diagram, which I thought was kind of handy. Um, cutting the wires was best done with a really fine wire cutter like this one here. Um, if you use a regular wire cutter you'll find that um, they don't get small enough for the really itty bitty tiny wires. You can, with a real fine touch, use uh, a wire cutter like this, um, but it's super easy to cut through all the way through the wire and not to just cut through the insulation. And you do need to trim the wires just a little bit. Initially, I just had them build it and like not cut the wires at all um, and then once they could see how it worked, then they cut the wires. They also cut the toothbrushes down. And we also tried cutting the toothbrushes sort of less or more um, or not at all. Uh, and so that, that provided some interesting variables in their behavior. There was one kid who didn't even cut the toothbrush at all, and then he built outriggers to make it stand up and that kind of thing. Uh, there was another student who trimmed the brush really close with a pair of scissors, and that was, that was an interesting variation. We tried using this um, little whiteboard as a hockey rink to be able to um, hit them and see if you could score. Um, I think it would take a little bit more experience before you could really get the thing behaving properly. Uh, before you could get like the brush bot so that it did what you wanted to and the, the sticks so that it didn't just knock them over every time, which was kind of what was happening. Um, after we did that, then we built these ones here. And I really like this design because it is super amazingly simple, easy. And you got a cup, a little bit of tape to hold on a three volt battery pack, a little bit more tape to hold on the motor, and then a glue stick to provide the weight that causes it to vibrate. And then when you connect the circuit, it sure does make a racket. <laughs> So it was fun, and then we also um, we put some LEDs on them, and they definitely enjoyed having LEDs on them. And let's see if we can get this to behave. There we go. There we go, and then we can turn that on. So the wire on this one, oh, this one's a little bit loose. So basically we just twisted the wires together, which um, worked out just fine in the workshop. And so then you have this thing moving around with its LED on it. 
and then you could there was even a Oop. there was one of the one of the kids who took the cup and went like this and was talking into it and he was um, getting some uh, voice modulation out of it kind of like an old organ which I thought was really neat and um, it was a lot of fun and the materials to do this were very inexpensive uh, it didn't really require a whole lot of tools and um, definitely got kids excited about making things and working with electricity and working with motors and, and changing their designs around uh, definitely an exciting time so by all means give it a shot I started with brush bots and then moved on to this cup bot um, you could just do the brush bots or you could just do the cup bot uh, you can put pens on these there's all kinds of amazing stuff you can do with it so give it a shot try it out